and repair works have begun on the Awoshi traffic light as so many people had been knocked and killed by speeding vehicles on that stretch. Residents blame the accidents to malfunctioning traffic lights. There was a massive protest following the latest incident last week. PAC Nanaya Osafo was in that community and now reports. <laughs> This was how residents of Awushi Mangwase in Accra spent the Founders' Day holiday on 4th August 2020. The young men and women screamed on top of their lungs and wore red headbands. The traffic light here had not turned on in close to three years. They were 40. As a result, speeding vehicles never stopped. They ended up knocking away several lives. The rage of protesters could not be quenched. The roads were blocked. It took the police and military personnel some time to restore order. Every month, almost four of our friends lost their lives. About how many people have you seen down here? It's almost, almost 18. I can't count the number of people who have died here. I'm one. I, I'm one of the who organized uh, this a peaceful demonstration just to advertise our grievance. Fast forward Friday, the 7th of August, three days after the protests, work on the traffic lights are nearing completion. I counted 9 out of 1140 traffic lights being functional. It seems like a simple task crossing the roads, but four days ago, the people of Awushimangwa say could not afford the simple luxury. Residents met me this time with a look of satisfaction. By his grace, by the grace of God, they have come, they have listened to our petition, and as you can see, they have done it. We are all happy, especially with the traffic light. As you can see at my back, everything is working, and we are happy, more than happy here. They, however, hoped authorities had learned a lesson from happenings here. Nana Kufado is our president. We love him, and he knows that we love him, but he should caution his ministers especially the road minister. All the street lights are not working. All the street lights are not working, including the traffic light. It's, so for instance, if we haven't done the demonstration, will it be done? They will not do it. He doesn't need us to do a protest or do a demonstration before he actually works on something. They are um, MCs, they are assemblymen, they are heads in every district. So my advice is that when they pass the, through something or when they go through something and they see that, oh, this thing is bad, they shouldn't wait for people to get hurt or lives to be lost before they say, oh, no, let's do something about it. As evidenced by the faded zebra crossing lines on the roads and the lack of street lights, the problems of Awushimangwa say are far from over. But residents are grateful that at least government has begun paying attention. And uh, still to come on in this bulletin and in business shortly, Parliament has approved a request by the Finance Minister for 109.9 billion Ghana cities. The details when Sandra Peno takes over.